Now, this did not sit well with uh, the haplessly overmatched Contessa Brewer, who was offended that anybody would dare discuss her network the way Ziegler is. Well, it's certainly not going to come up other than your mention in this particular interview, because I want to ask you about David yeah. Letterman and Sarah Palin. But again, if you'd like to talk about that, I'm, I'm willing to go forward with the conversation. Yes? I'll talk about whatever okay. you want. Hit me Perfect. with your best shot. Good. So, in this case... It's comedy. To talk about her real itinerary in New York, it's kind of serious, not really funny. Why did she take such offense? She called him pathetic, so she obviously took offense. Why was she so offended by David Letterman? Well, Contessa, uh, since you're a female, uh, you might be a better expert on whether or not it's appropriate to call a public figure slutty with for no apparent reason and to joke about her daughter being knocked up in the middle of Yankee Stadium yeah, while she's you know at what? the game. How would, you, how would you feel John, about that, that's Contessa? that's actually happened to me, and I'm fine. I'm still here. I'm, 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 really? David Letterman joked about you being no, slutty and, and then about your not daughter David being Letterman, but it's knocked happened up? happened to me publicly. Okay, well, we'll change topics. Okay. We'll change topics. Don't want to talk about Contessa Brewer being called slutty by David Letterman and being knocked up by Alex Rodriguez during a commercial break. It then continued. Let me get this straight. You find this surprising or shocking that because you and the media portray Republicans as old white men, that the public perceives Republicans as old white men, and you destroy you, in a blatant character assassination John, Sarah interview, Palin's character, interview, and the public thinks that she's interview, not worthy of that, at least in some terms. John. Yes. In your interview with Sarah Palin, did you ask her any tough questions, or are you functioning now as her spokesperson? Yes, I did. This was a great interview. I urge anyone who's interested in the real Sarah Palin to go to HowObamaGotElected.com. You can listen to the whole 16 minutes. One of the questions I asked her was whether or not she felt dissed by John McCain when he went on Jay Leno, also on NBC, back when he was the host of The Tonight Show, and wow. basically dissed her. Right. And surprise, 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 she gave an incredibly classy answer, far uh, showing far more class than clearly most people on this network have and finally that was the last that the contessa could not take anymore and in this last soundbite you will hear her demand that ziggler's microphone be cut off I, I don't really know what to do with that you know i was honestly i'm here to, to give you an opportunity i consider myself a common sense thinker i, I haven't attacked you and for you to right. come on and use those sort of insults insults me. Thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate that. Okay. Much well, more news ahead on it. Cut the mic, the please. Now, here is, here's, <laughs> here's a woman who just got there saying, it's no big deal. She's a public figure. Call her a slut. Call her slutty. Talk about her daughter being knocked up by Alex Rodriguez. No big deal. She's a public figure. And she ends up saying, I don't appreciate these insults. I don't appreciate these insults. These insults are me. I don't appreciate these insults. God. Glittering jewel of colossal ignorance. They all are at that network. Hey, folks, did you hear this the other night? During the first feed of the Chris Matthews show, he, during a commercial break, knocked up Contessa Brewer. You hear about that? The slutty Contessa Brewer, Chris Matthews, knocked her up. That's exactly right. Commercial break during hardball. He could have done it during the program, and nobody would have seen it. But they still thought to be safe about it during the commercial break.